Hey YouTube, got another video. Um, this is going to be on some knives, a pair of knives that I have. I um, have had for a while now. Um, as you can see, CRKT knives. Um, these are both the same knives, just different blade types. Um, this one, as you can see, Fultz Minimalist. Um, two, three, eight, seven. Uh, this one. As you can see, false minimalist two, three, eight, six. So there is a difference between these two. And uh, to find out the difference, we'll open them up and find out. Um, like I said, I have had these open, so um, this isn't like an unboxing. I have used these knives, so this is gonna be more of a review, but I wanted to show you how it comes in the box. That's kind of why I'm doing it. I wanted to show you how it comes and what you get in the box. So, um, this one is complete. This one is uh, not complete anymore. So, we're gonna jump into this one. This one, um, you open the top, uh, and there you go. Your knife's in the top here. Little plastic sheathing. Does come with the paracord already on it for neck knife. This is not the paracord that comes with it, but uh, it does come with that. Also does come with a um, little lanyard attached to the back here. So, here it comes. It does come with the snaps. As you can see, I do have that's why it was bulging a little bit. I do have, set that aside, um, the original paracord that comes with it. Um, like I said, it does come with snaps. The way they connect is um, they take out the inner strand of the paracord up to about there, tie it in a square knot, and call it a day. And uh, really do like they give you breakaways. Um, you know, somebody grabs your knife, it's going to break away um, eventually, like that. Um, so, you know, they can't, they're not going to strangle you with it or anything like that. So that's good. So it comes with paracord, like that, good. Um, does feel like um, actual paracord. Haven't taken it out and looked at the strands to see, you know, if it's got all the strands, but it feels like pretty good paracord, I think. Um, like I said, the reason I don't use it is because I wanted it a little longer. And um, I did not like how they did the snaps. I changed the snaps. So, um, yeah, but it does come with it. Do like that. Right out of the box, you can go ahead and throw it over your neck and carry it. Like that a lot. So, like I said, comes with paracord. Also comes with um, belt sheath. Right here, a little plastic packaging. This one has not been opened. Um, but it does come with one pretty good... Um, plastic belt loop with screws, um, not real thick, so if you got a super thick belt, it's okay. I think it's about two inch belt is probably your max you're going to fit in there. Um, but for me, it works pretty good for my belt. Like I said, not this one, different one. Um, also does come with catalog, mini catalog right here. Uh, it does have CRKT care, do's and don'ts. Let's see, uh, like all precision working tools, CRKT products will provide better service and longer lasting if you follow a few simple do's and don'ts. Dun, dun, dun. Don't use the blade for any task other than cutting. You will be disappointed with its performance. You could damage the knife or yourself. And you will avoid the, C and you will avoid the CRKT limited lifetime warranty. Don't want to do that. Do periodically lubricate the blade, pivot area, blah, 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 lubricate it. Do regularly clean the knife with mild soap and water and apply light coat of machine oil. Um, I actually, if I'm oiling them, I, a lot of times I'll use WD-40 because uh, it's a water displacement, it is not a oil. Um, so it'll prevent rust a lot better than most oils I have found. But machine oil works as well. Um, yeah. Do keep the cutting edge sharp. A cutting tool works much better and is safer to use when sharp. Worst thing you can have is a dull knife. I'll, no, no need to explain for an explanation there. Do periodically check the tightness of blade, play the area, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. So, there you go. There's your CRKT care do's and don'ts. Mostly do's, apparently. Only one don't. Don't use it for not cutting. 
lifetime warranty, um, haven't had any problems with it, so haven't been haven't had to test out their warranty. Um, can't say that with some of their manufacturers. Uh, some stuff on folder safety. This isn't a folder, so um, no need to go through that. Here's some of their um, stuff. Some of their knives. Um, going through here, just looking. Uh, I do see the spew. Almost thought about getting the spew instead of a second one of these, but decided to get two of these. Um, some tack pens. What else do we got here? I do like that they give you this. I like seeing what uh, companies have to offer. So I really do like that they give you this. Um, like I said, just kind of want to look through it. Didn't really look through it the first time around. So um, after having these knives in hand, I would really, really wouldn't have any second thoughts about buying another CRKT. So um, Guppy and Little Guppy, um, I've thought about getting one of those. A Guppy. Um, I have kind of had and half thinking about it. Lots and lots of stuff from CRKT. Um, so anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted by all the knives. <laughs> That's my bad. Um, oh, I really, sorry. Um, so, like I said, I do like that they give you that. It gives me something to look at besides just the knife. Um, and so there you go. Box is now empty. So, um, as I said, I have two of these. Um, I have the 2386 and the 2387. So, what's the difference? The uh, 7 and the 6. In the 6, um, that's the box I just opened. The 6 is for uh, the Tanto. The Tanto is the 6. Here's the Tanto. And, um... The seven is the Bowie. Um, so that's the two difference. That's the difference between that. Um, I found it interesting. I bought these within um, easily within a month of each other, and uh, this one, my Bowie, didn't come with. Um, it did not come with this mini catalog. Kind of disappointing because I bought this one first. That's this is the one that's not complete. Just has the knife, have the box, and this little paper that came with. Like I said, kind of disappointing that it doesn't have the full um, catalog, but uh, it does have this guy here. How to survive when trapped in a submerged car? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Um, as you can see, this guy is no longer trapped in the submerged car because he, one, held his breath and hoped for the best. No, I feel like he probably didn't do that. Two, force the door open with your feet. Or three, use a M16-12ZLEK to cut your seatbelt and break the window. I feel like that's probably what that guy did because this is an advertisement for that knife. <laughs> so, anyway, um... Like I said, kind of disappointed that it didn't come with the whole um, mini catalog, but uh, such as life happens. Um, do's and don'ts on here. Keep the cutting edge sharp, regularly clean, periodically lubricate, check tightness. Don't use the blade to pry, turn screws, dig, or scrape. Don't use knife as hammer. Do not put it away tool, dirty or wet. All good advice, but uh, who gives a crap? We want to talk about the knives. So, we're going to talk about the knives. Like I said, we have one in Tanto and one in Bowie. Uh, stats on these. Uh, 5.13. Their stats are going to be the same for either one. Both the same size, both the same. Just different blades. So, uh, overall length, 5.13 inches. Weight, 1.6 ounces so very very light fairly small uh, blade length 2.125 inches 
thickness of 0.11 inches. 5 CR 15 MOV steel, decent steel for um, the price, which the price is R on Amazon as of this moment. I'm literally looking at Amazon and uh, reading you the pricing. Uh, Bowie, CRKT Fultz Bowie, Razor Edge, uh, the uh, 2387, which is what this is. 2224. Um, CRKT Columbia River Knife and Tools, which is what uh, CRKT stands for. Um, Fultz Minimalist Tanto, the 2386. Razor Edge Tanto is 2236. 39, sorry, 39. Um, does also come the uh, 2385. Five is the um, the uh, Warncliffe blade. Sorry, lost the word for a sec. Warncliffe blade, which is twenty seventy five. So Warncliffe is cheaper, but uh, I prefer these two. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, as I said, five CR fifteen MOV steel, decent steel, get the job done. Uh, fifty five fifty seven uh, hardness, Rockwell hardness. If you are confused by any of this, there are plenty of videos out there, plenty of information on steels. Not going to go into that in this video. Just going to say, pretty decent. Gets the job done. Uh, B Blast Finish, Hollow Grind, um, Tanto, Bowie, Clip Point, whatever you want to call it. Um, Glass filled nylon sheath, micarta green and black micarta handles, full tang, all that stuff. Um, the weight does not include the sheath. The sheath is another 0.5 ounces, so totally you're talking 2.1 ounces. Um, I believe. So that's pretty much it um, for the. Uh, Stats on that. So there's your stats for all of you stat geeks. There it is. Um, so let's talk down and dirty tax. Nice thing is with the Bowie and the um, Tanto, interchangeable sheaths like that. That's a plus. Good plus there. As you can see, I can stick that one and that one and that one and that one. They both lock up. Uh, blade retention, excellent. Not going nowhere. You can hang this on your neck all day. It won't go anywhere. Um, absolutely no rattle. Um, interesting thing here, probably because they are interchangeable sheaths, um, no matter which one you use with which one, the Bowie, when you put it in, you get that nice click. Um, play it here again. That time. Good click. With the Tanto, um, not a good click. It just kind of slides in there. But you still get plenty good retention. Um, so, like I said, not a big deal. Just an observation I have had. That's pretty much it on those. Um, the sheaths, you can, as you can see, you can have neck knife. You can also use um, ball chain necklace instead. I prefer paracord. I find that ball chain... Um, the downside with the ball chain is it doesn't disperse the weight as well as the paracord. Just my own preference. Um, so that's that. Belt cl clip, as I said, you can carry. Um, you can carry horizontal. You can carry vertical. You can um, carry left or right. It's reversible. You can put it anywhere between these two, except these two, which is interesting. Um, the spacing is all the same for this middle one and side to side on all these except this one and this one. Um, you can use it this one. I'm sorry. It's this one and this one that's not the same. And this one and this one that it doesn't work on. So, um, and I believe it's also these two. So you can put it here and here for vertical, front or back. 
and then you can put it here and here for horizontal, here and here for horizontal, here and here for horizontal. So, plenty of options with your belt. Um, you can also take it completely off, have nothing, and slip it in your pocket. Works great in your um, watch pocket, fifth pocket, whatever you want to call it, in jeans. Works really great for that. Um, but you can also lace it and have it as a boot knife if you really want it. Um, it's possible. I've done it. You can do it. Um, not my kind of style, so I don't. But the uh, reason I have two is so I didn't have to switch from belt to um, neck knife because they are interchangeable. I can put either one with either one because I do use both. Um, when I'm working down in the shop doing a lot of work, I carry Bowie with um, belt. Carried about my one o'clock ish on my belt. Great to um, quick access your knife. When I'm wearing shorts, I wear Tanto with night knife. I don't actually bother wearing a um, pocket knife anymore when I have neck knife because in my cargo shorts, I prefer to just do neck knife. I don't like having a knife in my pocket. So that's just my own personal preference. But, uh, you know, if I'm out hiking, I'll probably do Bowie with neck knife. Um, if I'm wearing jeans, I want to wear a fixed blade. I might do Tanto with belt. I don't know. I, I like that you can switch it up. I, per, I like options. I am big into options, which this gives you lots of options. That's what I really like about it. Um, so that's pretty much it. On that, we'll say... Tanto, harder to sharpen than Bowie, obviously. Especially this Tanto with that s really, really steep um, corner there. It's basically, two. you have to treat it as two edges. You got one edge here, and you got one edge here. So, a little harder to sharpen. So, this mainly gets carried EDC type stuff, where I'm going to do light cutting tasks, opening boxes, stuff like that. This guy gets carried if I think I'm going to be um, using it a lot. If I'm going to need to cut a lot of stuff or cut some stuff that I normally wouldn't do with a lot of other knives, this one, I'll use this guy. Um, so, it's kind of my own philosophy on that. Um, so, that's that. We'll say three fingers, as you can see, plus um, you got the little lanyard on the back for um, your pinky to wrap around. Gives you something for your little pinky to grab. Kind of like that. Um, but uh, if you've ever held one of these in your hand, it is just, it melts right in there and just feels so good. You're just, it's, you're in control of the knife. It's not going anywhere. Won't come out. Um, I love these big finger troils. I love those. Um, I, I really would wish that I could get a bigger knife with four. Um, I love these, don't get me wrong. They're great for this purpose, but every once in a while, I want something bigger. And like I said, I just wish, if some of you, if any of you know of a knife, that I can get four of these big finger tutorials with a little longer tip as well, let me know what it is, um, because I love that. It, you grab that and it doesn't go anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Um, good jimping on this one. This one has really good jimping um, right there where your finger is. But I also do like on the Bowie, you can go down here and choke up really good on that and get a lot of good control with the belly um, on that. So I really like that. Same story with this guy. Um, it still feels really good in the hand. Um, jimping on this one, not as good. I have found. There are some differences between the Tanto and the Bowie. I don't know if that's just age or whatever, but um, as you can see, the jimping is very different between the two. Bowie and uh, Tanto right here. The Tanto one, it almost just looks like it just didn't quite get cut all the way. So this jimping is almost worthless compared to this, which is really great jimping. I love it. Um, so a little difference there. Handles, as I said, black and green, micarta. Um, this one, Tanto, more black than green. The Bowie, more green than black. Again, not a big deal, just differences. Interesting. Um, other One other difference I have noticed is on the back here, 
on the spine. On the uh, Tanto, it's a little more flat, not quite as rounded, um, but it's a lot smoother. This is a little more rounded, but it's not quite as smooth. So again, just some subtle differences I've noticed. Um, don't know if it's just because these two knives or there are differences. Um, but uh, just two little differences I've noticed. But both really great knives. Um, I'm sure the Warncliffe, if that's your type of blade shape, is great too. Um, they are really fantastic knives. I really do enjoy using them. I love them. They're probably my favorite knives I have. Um, chances are I carry these five days a week, probably. In the summer, every day of the week. This is around my neck. One of these is probably around my neck or on my belt. Um, in the summer especially, always always have it. Um, they're just fantastic knives. I cannot say enough good things about these. Um, I know Alan Foltz. He is the designer of this. That's why it's the Foltz Minimalist. Um, really great designer. He does make um, customs of these. So, um, eventually, hopefully, I can get my own custom made because, um, or, you know, I'll purchase a custom because um, I just love them so much. But f at this point in my life, $40 between two, two these two knives, totally worth it. Um, best 20 bucks I ever spent, honestly. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, like I said, can't say enough good things about these. You can't go wrong. You really can't. Um, if you never had a neck knife, which this was my first neck knife, um, get one and try it out. Because um, you might be surprised. They really are um, really cool. Really nice to have. Um, little tools to have. So, anyway. Uh, like, subscribe. All that stuff. Um... You can also check me out Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to all that stuff on the channel page here on YouTube. Um, do post some stuff, you know, when I'm post gonna post videos, and uh, some other EDC stuff. You know, every once in a while on Instagram, I'll throw up an EDC pic. Um, so you know, stay tuned. Also for more videos, you'll see more knife reviews, and you know, videos of anything else I find interesting. So um, anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, y'all be safe out there.